right, welcome to Mental Health Makeup Monday on Wednesday because it is actually Wednesday. I got my days mixed up as I do. That's something that I do. I never ever ever know what day it is. I was gonna do like a Mental Health Monday makeup video and it was a Wednesday and I was like, you know what fuck I'm doing it anyway. So now I'm gonna do Mental Health Makeup Monday videos on Wednesday. This is video two. Why Mental Health Makeup Monday on Wednesday? Because I think all of us are suffering from some kind of mental health issue, whether it is long-standing or new for this year. There's a lot going on, there's a lot that's been going on, and we need to cope somehow. My coping mechanism is to do self-care. When I feel like shit, I do self-care. Whether that's take a bath with a bath bomb or do my makeup, it's some form of self-care, self, self-care. <sighs> skincare, skincare, makeup, long, 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 long hot baths in which I redraw hot bath water and end up staying there for like hours. You know, you know what I mean, you know. So I don't have a plan, I'm just gonna be doing makeup. After Christmas, I did some purchasing online because tons and tons of makeup brands were having giant sales, upwards of 80% off, because they're bringing in new inventory for the new year, new launches, new products, and they're trying to get rid of their older inventory. So I took advantage of all of that as a new makeup fan starting in 2020 is when I started getting into makeup. So I don't have all the stuff yet. And I took advantage of the sales to stock up on the stuff that other people already bought in 2020. One of the sales was from ColourPop. So I definitely took advantage of that. This is the box, super duper cute. And in the box, they have this little card, which especially if you're having a mental health day, seeing something like this kind of makes a difference. So let's explore the box. I think I'm to the point where I'm just about done with my makeup palettes. I have eyeshadow palettes. I have so many of them right now that there's no way that I can get through them all and keep buying them and I'm just never gonna use any of them. I wanna stop buying eyeshadow palettes for a little while and start investing in other things that I don't have as much of. But I did buy some eyeshadow palettes from, well, all of the, all of the companies I bought stuff from for the holiday sale. I got some eyeshadow palettes from, but after this, no more for a while. State of Play is their pastel collection. I love this packaging. I think it's super cute. I have another one that I bought, I think for Black Friday. This one is State of Play, the other one is Dream Big. And they both open up exactly the same. Just this, <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> it's so big, I have to back up all the way over here. <laughs> I just love this to death, really. It's so cute. And I know people usually take these things out and stack them where they can actually be functional and use them, but I don't wanna take these out of this. I love it. Here's a closer look of each of those palettes. Cloud's fun. These pretty friends. Baby got peach. These lovelies. Going coconuts. These neutral babies. Meant to be. Beautiful. On cloud blue. Absolutely stunning. And lilac you a lot. These guys. I did already use coconuts, the going coconuts one. When I took everything out of the box, I just could not wait. It was like midnight. I was like, you know what? I just really want to try this. And I've been trying to delve more into the neutrals and going coconuts is all neutral. So I did a look there, not a video or anything. I just tried them out and it's pretty great. It's pretty great. I got two more palettes from ColourPop for their sale, Aura and Out. This might be the one that I am most excited about. I am so inspired by this. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. And the last one I got, which actually was the first one that I put in my shopping cart because I am a big fan of the show, The Child. Of course, I had to. The thing is, I have been on the fence about this palette because I really only wanted to get it for Grogu. If I'm to be completely honest, I am not super inspired by this palette. I think it is really, really, really pretty, but I don't know 
I don't really know. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. But every video I've seen someone do a look, it's kind of just been like, oh, okay. So I don't know. I, I of course will use it. I'm really glad I have it. I'm just, I'm not expecting to be super thrilled by looks that I create with it. But the palette's beautiful. It really is. It's beautiful. So we'll see. We'll see. I am lacking lip products. So I decided to get a bunch, I mean a bunch, I probably got, could have gotten more, but I got some lip stuff from ColourPop. I got this ultra blotted lip, which is a quick drying, non smearing lip paint. I did already try this out and I love it. The thing I think I was most excited about in this purchase was the lippy sticks, which I'm sure they come in colors, but it's it's a, it's a primer. It's a lip primer. I haven't ever even heard of a lip primer. If a lip primer is like an eye primer or a face primer, then we need it to keep our lipstick on to last longer. And I got four lippy pencils in these colors. I really needed lip pencils really badly. In one of my other videos, I was complaining about a lip pencil. It's actually over here. This one from Ish. I love this color and I just didn't really know what to do about the pencil because it's plastic. And I was like, there's no way that you can sharpen a plastic pencil, but apparently you can. I still haven't tried, but all of these lippy pencils from ColourPop are plastic. And I saw on the site, they're sold out of it, but they have a lippy pencil sharpener. I don't know if it's different than like a wood pencil sharpener, like for, you know, like eyeliner and stuff or like a regular lip pencil. Yeah. Apparently Apparently you can sharpen these things. And that's it. That's all I got from ColourPop for my holiday. I, I think I'm so cute by calling it a holiday because H-A-U-L a day. Anyway, my big holiday purchases. More stuff is coming from other companies. I did a Tarte video the other day and today I don't have enough ColourPop products to do a full face, but I'm going to use a palette that I got. I'm going to use the blotted lip, definitely the lip primer, a lip pencil, and... I guess that's it. That's that's um that's all that I'm gonna use for you know my color pop holidays splurge. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my brows on. I wish these were real. Man, what I wouldn't give for some dark ass eyebrows. What I wouldn't give for those. But anyway, I was gonna do this off camera, but I just got this Color Your Worlds, uh, blinding you. This Color Your Worlds color correcting palette from Tarte. And I just kind of want to do this live to show you the difference between what my under eyes look like here. These like very thin blue circles here now, naturally, and how they look after I put on this orange color corrector, which I think is, I mean, just short of miraculous, really. So, I mean, just look at that. It's not like a secret and it's not news, but orange fixes, <laughs> orange fixes under eye circles. People have been saying it forever. It's true, just believe them. There's some makeup trends and stuff that obviously don't work. There's some that do, some just do. I've seen people put lipstick on under their eyes. I guess red works for some people. Man, I tell you, the orange alone works for me. Like I feel like I look normal now. So anyway, I wanted to show you that, but I now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow base. I'm gonna color correct my cheeks and stuff and I'll be back to do the fun stuff. I'm trying to be very conservative with my color correcting. I'm very pink on my nose and my cheeks. I'm pretty much pink everywhere, but I'm extra pink on my nose and cheeks. So I just color corrected there in a little, just a tiny bit here. The foundation is enough to cover the rest of it up. So I just added a little bit of the green color corrector here, just, just for a little boost. I think I would like to go monochromatic today and do something that maybe I wouldn't normally do. I'm gonna use Baby Got Peach for a whole look. I'm gonna start with Perky here and go in Decrease. 
story time. I'm just gonna talk to you while I do this because why not? So in my last video, I mentioned that I hadn't done any more videos before the end of the year because of uh, a few things that had happened. One of them was a car accident and I was like, I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Well, fuck it, I'll talk about it now. On December 18th, uh, which happens to be my partner's birthday, I was driving to work and I, uh, I got hit, I got T-boned while I was driving through an, an intersection. I had the right of way, had the green light, and this eight-year-old lady, 80, 80, 80 year old lady ran the red light in the intersection going close to 50 and hit me in the kind of in between the driver door and that front wheel on the driver's side. And so my car is totaled. I'm obviously alive and not terribly injured. So I got, I got really lucky, but my car is, my car's toast, absolute toast. I had a Honda Element, a green Honda Element that I cherish so much. This car has been with me through everything. I don't know how people normally feel about their cars, but I bought my car in 2004. Yeah, no, 2005. I bought my car in 2005. I have my car for 15 years. My car has been with me through like no shit, everything. I love this car to death. It's crazy of like all of the things to be really upset about. The thing I'm most upset about is that I lost my car, which almost feels like losing a friend. I mean, my God, 15 years together? <sighs> that green Honda Element. So I'm gonna share some fond memories of me and this car together. Purchased in 2005, I am a musician and I used to tour all over the country, continent really, I mean, here, Mexico and Canada, playing music. And this car went to all of those places. This, that car had gone to every single state in the continental US and to, Niagara Falls and to um, like Puerto Penasco, which is just south of Arizona. I uh, drove from there to, what is that city? That's like right below San Diego. Anyway, drove basically across the border from Arizona to California. So I'm really sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that my car is gone. So I'm dealing with not having a car, which is driving me absolutely batshit. I have a rental right now, which is helpful, obviously, but the thing that is really nerve wracking is that I don't know when the day is gonna come when they're like, we need for you to take the rental back and I don't have a new car yet. And like, who the fuck can afford a new car during a pandemic in which the economy has completely shut down. I mean, seriously. So obviously having a 15 year old car, it's not worth much. I took really good care of it. It probably could have gone another 15 years, but the money that I'm gonna get for it is gonna be like peanuts. It makes me very anxious, very frustrated, mad and sad, and I'm depressed. I'm not having the best time. Whatever, you know, what can you fucking do? What I did was hire a lawyer. Never had a lawyer in my life and I just hired one for the first time, which is crazy. It's crazy that I need a lawyer for this. The reason why I need a lawyer is because the 80 year old lady said that I ran the red light. And so can't have that because I definitely had the green light. I feel terrible that I have to fight an 80 year old lady about this, but unfortunate, for her, since we had an accident right in an intersection where there are businesses literally on all four corners, there's footage of her running the red light and I feel terrible. I feel like she's gonna feel like a fucking demon when she realizes that she ran the red light and hit me. I can only imagine. Can you imagine just being so sure that you have the green light? Because of course, this is what I was thinking when I, you know, days, weeks after the accident, 
I was like, what if it was me? What if, what if it were really me? What if I ran the red light, even though I would never do that? I just had all this doubt thinking, you know, if I found out that I had run the red light, totaled someone's car and I would feel terrible, absolutely terrible. And I don't know this lady from Adam, but I just, I just am concerned that she's going to feel really bad. And I feel really bad that she's going to feel bad. So just, I'm not feeling good about anything right now. So that's why I'm doing my makeup. Anyway, let's get back to it. So I got some orange on my eye, which is fun. And um, I used the darkest one. I used like the fucking second darkest one. And I think I'm going to just try to pull some medium orange onto the lid here a little bit. Oh my gosh, you know what? I think I would like to make these Mental Health Mondays on Wednesdays, Mental Health, mental health Makeup Mondays on Wednesdays videos. Really just me putting my makeup on and ranting about the shit that sucks. I think that's what I wanna do. And uh, well, that's what I'm gonna do today. That is what I'm going to do today. So in addition to my own personal shit going on, by the time I post this video, I, I really don't think this will be like old news or anything. Today is Wednesday the 6th and I'm gonna post this next Wednesday cause I'm gonna give myself a week to edit it in case I get depressed and don't feel like doing it. I'm gonna give myself a week. But today was that fucking rally. Today was that rally in DC where a bunch of alt-right extremist terrorists stormed the White House, stormed Congress. That was today. Yeah. And uh, I don't even know what to think about really anything. I think it's, I think it's batshit. I think that it's hypocritical. I can't wait for two weeks from today, really. Two weeks from today. So, you know what? I know that makeup and politics don't really go together. I don't know how many people are gonna watch this and be like, oh, fuck her, fuck, fuck that Democrat. Fuck that Democrat putting her makeup on bitching about President Trump and the conservatives. But you know what? You don't have to watch this channel. You can just go away. I am glad that you came here to watch makeup and stuff. But if you don't think that storming the Capitol is terrorism, then this channel probably isn't for you because this is probably not the only time I'm gonna be talking about it. So, so that's that. What else can I bitch about? <laughs> I guess that's it. Let's just fast forward to the next part of my makeup. I'm just gonna be putting my eyeshadow on and thinking quietly to myself about all the things that suck right now. I think it's pretty so far. <laughs> I know that the lighting in here is a little bit yellow, but I'm not a professional makeup artist or professional YouTuber, so I don't have the professional lighting that it takes to actually make my room not look yellow. But I think it looks really, I think it looks really nice. It's pretty subtle. I haven't done the lower lash shine yet. There is some glitter in here that I'm kind of dying to use. So I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna do my lower lash line and I'll just uh, click fast forward and play or whatever the button is when I'm, when I'm done with all that. I'm pausing this to talk about some ideas I have for videos. ColourPop has all of these monochromatic palettes and now I have like 12 of them. I'm thinking about doing kind of like a rainbow series, like a monochromatic rainbow series or something and use all these palettes just one at a time. I, I, I've already liked the idea of like whole palette challenges. So I think I'm gonna do like a monochromatic look per video or something. Maybe we can do like orange week and use the different orange palettes or, you know, blue week. I have to say, I love ColourPop's blues. They're beautiful. The blues, both of these, I don't have the other palette out, but this one is On Cloud Blue. The other one is Blue Moon. And oh, it's just beautiful. It's just stunning. So yeah, maybe, maybe, thinking about it. So this one, well, this one's just a mental health makeup Monday, Wednesday video, so it's not really gonna apply. But anyway. It's an idea. I'm just about done with the shadows. 
And then I'm gonna move on to um, liner. I don't think I'm gonna do like a big liner for this, really. I think I'm just gonna do maybe a waterline liner and lashes. I kind of like the whole idea of, it's not, it's not a natural look, obviously, but I like the idea of like a lighter look because I just, I go, I go big, I go heavy, I go bold. And lately I've been doing looks that have lighter, more neutral colors and using literally just waterline liner and mascara. No liner on the top or anything. And that's it. And I think it looks really nice. It's different for me, obviously. Well, obviously, who knows? This may be the first video you've seen of me. But I tend to really like really bold, big, bold colors and really graphic, very, very dark black liner. I just love it. Like liner pens, I'm all about it. But I think this is all I'm gonna do for the shadow and I kind of actually really like it. So I'm going to curl my lashes and put mascara on them. And then I guess do my face and then lips. I don't know, we'll see. Lips, yeah, my face and then lips. So I recently saw on Instagram, there's this really beautiful woman. I mean, my gosh, she's so pretty. She did this quick little video on Instagram of some look. I can't even remember the look right now. The thing that stood out to me was that she heated up her eyelash curler. What? <laughs> I have never even considered that. Makes sense though. I think the risk, obviously, if you do that is you, if you heat it up and you get too close to your lash line, it's gonna hurt like hell. So I guess if you're gonna heat it up, just try not to touch your actual skin. <laughs> Cause that'd be painful. All right, are we curled yet? Oh my. My contact feels like it's gonna pop out of my eye. I just wanna curl like the inner parts. Am I done? Oh, I don't know. I don't really think those suckers are really curling much at all. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, I tried the Ilia mascara like yesterday. And the reason why I thought this would be really good for a look that doesn't have liner is because that's what the wand looks like. It looks like it just combs your lashes. So I thought, oh, that probably would be good because it's not gonna be the kind of like fibrous one that's gonna, whatever. I don't know if you know what I'm saying or not. I do actually have the regular Kush mascara by Milk, but I'm gonna try to use up the sample before I get into the big bad, bad boy. This one, from my experience, this is the wand. From my experience, this, this does a good job just separating and defining the lashes. It is a waterproof mascara, which I feel like the water, Proof mascaras that I've used doesn't clump. They don't clump. They don't clump. They separate and define. I need to really pay attention to see if they lengthen, but I don't think they volumize my lashes. I don't, I don't know. Not that I've noticed. I mean, this is kind of clumping my lashes together already. I just want to find a good mascara. I like the Rodial XXL for when I'm doing really thick eyeliner because that XXL makes my lashes giant, which is great if I'm gonna have thick liner because if I am gonna be using mascara that is just gonna barely define my lashes, you won't be able to see them against thick black eyeliner. They'll just melt right into them visually. Just camouflage. I want to find a mascara that is good for, oh my God, they're just clumping together, driving nuts. I want to find a mascara that defines, separates, volumizes, and lengthens without clumping. I can't remember what brand it was. On Instagram again, I spend way too much time on Instagram. On Instagram, one of the brands, like not even a makeup artist or, you know, a makeup fan like me, but like a brand posted a video of someone using their mascara. They were promoting the mascara and I mean, my God, this girl's poor lashes like clumped into like five different clumps. And I just couldn't believe that they were like, buy this mascara. <laughs> like it just, it looked terrible. I don't know if that's like a new trend or not. Just to have like, like that. Just five clumps of lashes. I, I don't know. Anyway, what I did buy recently, which is coming, I bought some, I bought some falsies. I finally got some falsies. I actually think I have two or three pairs here somewhere. And yeah, maybe two. I got Glamnetic lashes in the BoxyCharm box and 
I have another pair of lashes that came in a Tribe Beauty box like a year ago. Never worn them because they scare me, to be honest. So I am getting out of my comfort zone, getting out of my box, and I'm going to try some lashes. They scare me. Everything about them. I mean, the glue alone scared me because I'm like, what if I fuck this shit up? Also, I hate the way I've had lashes put on me. It hurts like a motherfucker taking them off. So I don't know if I need to dissolve them in like coconut oil on my eye, you know, like cotton ball, coconut, I don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments. Tell me, tell me what I should do to make it not painful to take lashes off my eyes. Cause that shit hurts. I don't know if I'm just a big old baby when it comes to stuff like on my eyes, but like I complain about eyeliner that hurts. I complain about taking lashes off. I just, I want, I feel like if you're going to be putting shit on your eye, it shouldn't hurt. Putting shit on or taking shit off shouldn't be fucking painful. We should invest in comfortable makeup. There are brands I've seen who advertise as like, oh, this is soft. It feels like it just glides on the eye. All makeup should be like that. Like chalky dry shit needs to go away. Nobody wants to use that. I, I like me to focus on my lower lash line here. I want to get my lashes coated, but I don't want to get mascara all over my under eye here. I don't want to make a mess because I really don't want to clean it up. I don't feel like it. So I think I'm done with that. Yes. So on to the rest of my face. I don't know if you've heard of this 2021 makeup trend, but if you've been getting any emails from any makeup companies at all, you will have seen glow from within. Literally everything will say dewy, glowy, shimmery, like all of it. So that's the thing. It is the glow from within year for makeup, or at least the beginning of it. I mean, you know, shit changes. Well, probably once, <laughs> as I'm patting, the camera's just like, Ugh. sorry. I'll pat more gently. Probably once it gets into spring, we'll be all into like pastels or bright, who knows, who fucking knows. Winter 2021, or at least winter 2020 slash 2021. 2020, 2020, 2020. It's all about that glow. It's all about that glow and shimmer. And basically what I'm taking from that is not a lot of coverage. So like, okay, we should be using less foundation, let our natural skin shine through. So maybe less foundation, so not full coverage, more sheer, dewy, and using like glowy primers like this one, the Elmas Superfood, Glow Priming Moisturizer is no joke. I, it, like, you put it on your face and your skin fucking glows. Like, no joke at all. Looks great. Looks great if your skin doesn't need a lot of foundation at all. I can't, I, don't, I can't tell if you can see the primer from under the foundation, but without foundation, your skin is just like the sun shining. Also, I, so that was my normal foundation. I got like two, two foundations. I should probably get more so I can turn out, but I'm going to use the Iconic London's face palette, which is this thing. It looks like, I mean, everything's got at least a little bit of shimmer. Some of it's super shimmery. Some of it's just a little. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this more often than not, just because it's got it's got a lot of glowy glow glowness to it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, go in here. I was watching Bailey Sarian, I think Bailey Sarian. Anyway, if you don't know her, she's fucking hilarious. She does these um, murder mystery makeup Mondays or something or murder, murder and makeup Mondays, I think, where she just like does her makeup and talks about true crime. So if you're into true crime, you should check her out if you haven't already. I mean, you probably already know who she is. She's she's great. I was watching her you know, do her makeup and talk. And as she was doing her bronzer and contour, uh, and she would say words with O. Oh, and I noticed that when she said O, oh, it defined her cheekbones. And I was like, I need to start doing that O oh face when I'm doing my uh, my bronzer and my contouring. So, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm doing now. Yeah, whatever. I think it works, even though this is the first time I'm trying it, you know? 
Ooh, I have a weird bone here. Huh. Anyway, anyway. All right, gonna do the rest of it. I really haven't been contouring actually. I've just been using a bronzer lately. I, I don't know. I think contour, contour is fun, but it just kind of looks a little too extreme for me. Sometimes, sometimes it's fun, you know, like, ooh, look, you know what? When I start going out again, when I start going out at night to like bars and shows and fucking clubs, I guess, clubs, I don't know. I'm probably going to like seriously go all out with the contour and whatever. I'm gonna do all of it. I'm gonna do a little contour though. I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit, but I'm still just gonna use what I just used, which is this like, um, I think a uh, bronzer. I'm just gonna, you know, just a little tiny bit, not a whole lot, just just a little for definition, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with a, an eyeshadow brush that I think already has some shimmer on it, so I probably should have cleaned that off first, but whatever, glow from within, I'm shimmering, it's fine. Almost there. I do like to contour my nose, because I got, I got a big old schnauz over here, you know, and I think it's really cute to give myself a little dip. I'm just, that's pretty much all the contour I do when it comes to my nails. Just, you know, just a cute little dip. I think it's pretty cute. All right, my nose is actually running right now, so I'm trying not to get my brush in my... It's not, thank you, winter allergies. All right, what are we doing now? I think we're gonna do, what is it, highlighter and blush? I forgot to use concealer. I was gonna try something different today. I was gonna put concealer down my nose and here, whatever, I forgot. It's fine. I'm just gonna go on with blush nail and then just a little bit of highlighter. Okay. I don't wanna use a whole lot of blush really because I can still see the pinks in my cheeks glowing through. So I'm not gonna use a whole lot, just a little. I am gonna use blush here, just a little. And over here. Okay, highlighter time. The highlighter, the, I, Highlighter that's in this looks a little yellow. It's not like a really light shimmery highlighter, which is good, I guess, for when you don't really, I already did something I didn't want to do. So when I put highlighter here, I have to be really, really careful to not put it too close to where my skin dips here because it accentuates it. I messed up, it's fine. I'm not really, I mean, really the only person I'm going to see tonight is my boyfriend. It's fine. He doesn't care. Like he does not even, <laughs> I don't think he even knows when I wear makeup and when I don't. <laughs> he won't, he won't care one bit, which is nice, I guess. But it'd be nice if he fucking knows sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waking you over there and there. Okay. 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 We're doing lips now. Whew! And I'm going to use the blotted lip from ColourPop and... This lip liner, I made a point to moisturize the hell out of my lips before doing this video because my lips are just constantly dry. They're constantly peeling. And whenever I put any any lip product on it at all, anything that's a matte or quick dry, my lips just, you see all the cracks, they peel like crazy. I, I just need to do a better job of making sure that they're moisturized before I put any product on them. So I'm gonna use, what color is this? This is Shot Clock, cool. And I'm gonna line these suckers. This is the exact thing I did last night. And I really, really liked it. I do kind of a, okay. So speaking of mental health, sometimes you don't feel like doing basic hygiene. If you've ever had any kind of mental health thing, this is not news to you. Or if you've ever known anyone who suffers from depression, even, oh God, this is why I shouldn't talk while I do my lip stuff. Go do this really fast and then I'll talk to you. Even if it's just seasonal depression, whether you're clinically depressed or de seasonally depressed or circumstantially depressed, hygiene's an issue. You don't feel like doing jack shit. You just fucking don't. You might feel really good one day and be like, oh man, I'm gonna like do my hair and put my makeup on and that night you'll be like, fuck, I feel like shit and just go to bed. And like all day the next day, you have the same makeup on you had the day before. That happens to me 
quite often. I will put my makeup on and wear it for, I mean, I'm just gonna say it, I'll wear it for fucking days until I like actually have the time or energy to take a goddamn shower or wash my face. So that's just, you know, I'm gonna admit it because I feel like there are other people out there who might do the same thing and just don't talk about it. So there, I said it. I'll go days when I'm feeling really depressed. That being said, I put these on last night. I put these on and I put on like one of these other ColourPop cream gel liners on my waterline. I took my makeup off before doing this video. So it was like a good 24 hours that I had this makeup on and everything was still on. The liner was on, the lips were on, held up well. Speaking of that, Everything that was in the Tarte video, I'll admit it, it was like three days. It was three days I had my makeup on because I legit did not have time to take it off. I was working 13 hours a day, you know, whatever. I just sob story, man. But I just didn't take my makeup off. I video chatted one of my friends from out of town and she was like, damn, your makeup looks so good. And I was like, this is day three. So that video, the Tarte video, everything I put on my face, holds up for three whole days. So you wanna spend money on something that is gonna be like effortlessly flawless? Get that Tarte stuff, that stuff is pretty amazing. So this is the final look. This is my look using Baby Got Peach from ColourPop, the blotted lip and a lippy, all from ColourPop. And I think this also goes with the whole glow from within look because I'm not using a whole lot of product. I think it looks kind of glowy. Anyway, I hope you liked it and I will do more videos soon. I think I'm gonna do two a week, three if I'm lucky. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you subscribe and what was it? Notifications, yeah, click subscribe, notifications and keep up with me. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what, you know, what you're going through. What, what mental health woes do you have? Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what's going on in your life. What has helped you get through your mental health days? Thank you for coming. Glad to see you. I'll see you next time.